This is my debut with the Atlanta Opera, and I mean, I'm beyond thrilled to be working as a director for this company um, who has given me so much. I mean, the staff, um, Tomer, the chorus, the supers, everybody has sort of so um, fed into my education um, as a member of the Studio Artist Program and now as a director. It's, it's really amazing actually to be working for a company where you just have that much support and that much uh, confidence in in what you can do. I mean Carmen is a very big show I mean and it has so many sort of classic traditional parts of it that um, you know to be entrusted with it is a is really an amazing thing and I just feel so grateful and thrilled actually to be directing this. I mean, I have the coolest job ever. One of the things that I'm trying to do with it is to go back to the original text, Bizet's original libretto, which was originally a opera comique, so there was no recit in it. It was all French dialogue. But I think that there's something very important in going back to that original source and seeing what story Bizet thought he was telling and then trying to really make that story come through and trying to honor the story that Bizet put out there. I am always surprised. You can be watching television, you can be in an elevator, you can be in a shopping mall and there's a really, really high likelihood that you're hearing something from Carmen. I do, like, it's amazing, but it's everywhere. You know, and I, I tell that to people, I'm like, no, trust me, you know Carmen. You don't know that you know Carmen. Trust me, you know Carmen. <laughs> There's things in there for everybody. There's giant, exciting chorus scenes. There's beautiful, tiny, intimate love moments. Uh, I, I don't think it's at all possible for everybody to walk away with the same thing. But I think the one thing I would love everybody to walk away from Carmen with is just, there's a, beautiful joy even in the music even that even the fact that she dies there is something sort of beautifully sad in her death and it would be great for them to walk away with that there's also this thing that runs through Carmen which is she all she wants is freedom and liberty that is what they sing about in act 2 that is the thing that is sort of driving and existing within her always there's something in the story that's about the consequences of love and the consequences of freedom. And I, I think that's not a bad thing for us to be floating around in our heads these days.